You may have heard a lot of talk about RSV lately. It can be a real problem for older people and for young kids. Dr. Cara Hamilton from Black Hills Pediatrics has some ideas on keeping your kids safe in this week's edition of Health Watch. RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, is just another cold for many of us, but for young children, it can be especially troublesome. Uh, it can cause a lot of congestion and even breathing problems, uh, but really most children by the age of two have experienced an RSV infection. It is responsible for tens of thousands of hospitalizations in children under the age of five and even a few hundred deaths every year in that age range. And so it can be good if we do our best to try to prevent this. Of course, there's the typical methods of washing hands frequently and staying home when you're sick, keeping your child home from daycare when they're sick to reduce the spread of illness. But there's actually a new way to prevent RSV. There's a vaccine for it. Now, it's not a vaccine in the truest sense of the word, like the flu shot, for example, where we incite your immune system to make its own antibodies, but rather your child will be injected with some monoclonal antibodies that help uh, reduce that risk of that RSV infection getting uh, down into their lungs and causing bad trouble. Uh, the good news is there is this type of vaccine does not typically cause too much for side effects since we're not really rubbing up the immune system. And it is not altogether new technology either. This is something very similar uh, to what's been used for for more sickly children for uh, several years now. Any child under the age of eight months uh, could get this vaccine and certain children under the age of 20 months could qualify for it if their health conditions allow. If you have questions about the RSV vaccine or other vaccines, make sure you're talking to your child's healthcare provider. This is Dr. Kara Hamilton at Black Hills Pediatrics with your Health Watch.